Welcome back everybody to the next Intermediate and Advanced Civil 3D training video series. In the previous video we looked at the parts builder, so under pipes parts builder in relation to circular pipes, concrete and PVC, and we inserted numbers from the correct documents for my jurisdiction in order to have a proper design in Civil 3D. I'd also said we're going to look at the concrete box culverts but the amount of lines and options inside of concrete box culverts and we'll just open them up quickly to, to look at it there's around a hundred lines in the edit value table so it would take quite a bit of time to modify this now my concrete provider only has six or seven different sizes so most of these would be deleted and we would go from there but um, the same the same would apply for this in in order to uh, to have your sizes so you'd have to change the pipe inner width the pipe inner height the wall thickness and then the rest of the th three categories the part size name the center offsets are all and the 2d distance are all formula based so they will read from another col column here so quite a bit of stuff to change in this one but uh, we're not going to pay attention to that one. Now, within Civil 3D, there is a boatload of things to set up before we can even start drawing any pipes. We need parts lists, we need pipe rules, we need all our label style set up. Now, for this video, I am in a default Autodesk Civil 3D metric template. So if we look under the point styles, it's just the default Civil 3D template. So if you guys wanted to follow along, you can open up a empty Autodesk template, has some layers in it, has some styles already in it. And we can start working from just a blank template here. So looking under the pipe section, we have, uh, sorry, under settings tab. So there's prospector where Civil 3D opens and we have our settings tab where the styles and everything is saved. So looking under the settings tab, we have pipe networks, we have pipes, we have structures. And then further on in the series, we have pressure networks, pressure pipes, fittings, and appurtenances. So for this, we're going to stay under pipe networks, the gravity drain system within Civil 3D, uh, the pipes drop down as well. But we're not going to build a parts list yet because we need other related options. Now, setting these options up beforehand, you absolutely have to set all these up beforehand. It's not easy to modify things afterwards. So under my pipe drop down, we have pipe styles. There's some double line sanitaries and storms. Again, just typical default auto desk stuff. We're not gonna play around with pipe styles. What I do wanna look at is the pipe rule sets. And right now there is only one in here and it's basic. And minimum slope 1%, max 8, minimum cover 3, max cover 10, maximum length 200, minimum length 1 meter. So this is not going to work for what, uh, what I need. I'm going to have to build rules for every single pipe size that I need to use. Now, I don't rely on the pipe rules to lay the system out. What I do rely on them is to give me feedback about whether my slopes are incorrect, my covers incorrect my maximum or minimum length is incorrect so i use it more as a, a checking tool as opposed to a design tool so i have my city specification document opened up right here with all my sizes and my slopes and the ones that we happen to use and i'm going to start building them now we see that we have sanitary we have storm i i typically build sanitary and storm separately because there are different slopes so 400 or a 250 diameter sanitary pipe is 0.42 percent if it's concrete but a storm concrete pipe is 0.56 percent so i will i'll tend to build these separately now we'll take you through the first one uh building one pipe rule and then i'm going to speed up the video and do the rest of the rules so I'm going to, under my, again, my settings tab, under pipes, under rule sets, right click and select new. The information tab, I'm going to name this 200 diameter sanitary. 
then under rules, I'm going to add a rule. Now there's only one category in this and it is storm sewer, uh, basically just a gravity drain. Our rule names are cover and slope, cover only, length check, pipe to pipe match, and set pipe and location. So any of these can be added to our, our pipe itself. Now I want Civil 3D to monitor my cover and slope. It has some default values in right here, so I'm gonna hit okay. I also want it to uh, um, monitor my length check. So I'll hit okay. I'm not adding the cover only because it's already included in cover and slope. I'm not gonna add the pipe to pipe match as this is more for a null structure. If we have a bend to a tangent section of pipe, we would use a null structure. We'd wanna make sure the pipe to pipe match, uh, they match. And then pipe and location, if um, start and end, we can have it set for the structure center. And uh, we can take a look at some of those options as well. So structure center, inner wall, outer wall, and Civil 3D will monitor this and tell you if it's not attached to those. And uh, I generally don't use the pipe and location. So what I will do is do cover and slope and my length check. Now 200 diameter sanitary, we have a minimum slope if we're using concrete pipe of 0.8%, but also PVC at 0.8%. So my minimum slope here is going to be 0.8%. And I know that where I live, they generally don't use a concrete pipe if it's a 200 diameter, so I'm not going to build that concrete size. Maximum slope. Again, this is all uh, where I live. We do it by how fast is the fluid in the pipe traveling. I'm just going to leave it at 8% now. If anything's over 8%, then Civil 3D will warn me, but generally I want to ensure that my minimum slope here is met. Minimum cover, where I live, they prefer 2.7 meters of cover. And maximum cover, I'm going to set this to 5, just because uh, a typical backhoe can only dig 5 meters deep. So minimum cover 2.7, maximum cover 5 meters deep. This one I tend to violate quite a bit because if you're deeper than five meters, it will throw up a warning. But in that case, I just ignore the warning. Now length check. As we draw pipes in Civil 3D, we'll draw one pipe instead of doing a six meter section of smaller pipes. So between two manholes, I will draw one pipe total. And the maximum distance between manholes where I live is 185 meters. So I will put that in here as well. And then minimum length, I'm just going to leave it for one meter. So really the only rules in here that Civil 3D is going to monitor for me and I'll pay attention to are the minimum slope, the maximum or the minimum cover and the maximum length. So once that's set up, I'll hit okay. And we see that it adds it into the rule set here. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a rule for the 250 diameter sanitary but I'm going to cheat and I'm going to right click on this and copy it. I'm going to change my name to 250 diameter sanitary. I'll get rid of the copy and then minimum slope for this is 0.4. The minimum cover still applies and the length check still applies. So I'm going to speed up the video and I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll be back in a few moments. All right, now that I have the two 253, 375, 450, 525, and 600 diameter sanitary set up, now you see that I stopped at 675. So stopping at 675, why I did that was because anything above 675 diameter is just a pure old 0.1% slope. So I did 675 and higher diameter sanitary and we'll leave that with 0.1%. So now we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, eight rules in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that for the storm as well. Now, where I live, 
is generally anything under 400 diameter, the city prefers to use uh, PVC related pipes and anything above 400 diameter, they would prefer to move into the concrete size of pipes. So midway through my side, uh, I'm going to switch columns. So I'll go from this column for these four to this column for those six. So I'll make a brand new rule set. Actually, I can copy a previous one. So we'll just copy the 675 diameter. And I'm going to name this 200 diameter storm. Now, where I live, there is not actually a 200 diameter storm pipe that they use. But the 200 diameter storm is for a catch basin. Length check still governs and cover and slope still governs. So my minimum slope for a catch basin pipe is actually 2%. My minimum cover here is 1.2 meters and maximum cover I'll leave for five meters. Now on a catch basin pipe here, the maximum length they wanna see is 30 meters. So just changing a few numbers from a style that's already set up, 200 diameter storm, we'll hit okay. I'm gonna copy this and they also have a 250 diameter storm for catch basin with the exact same rule. So 2%, 1.2 meters, 30 meters in length, we'll hit okay. Copy this now, we get into the actual sizes. So 300 diameter storm pipe, no catch basin. Now I'm gonna start looking at my table. So 300 diameter is 0.32%. The same minimum cover applies, the five uh, maximum cover, I'll just leave it again, and then we'll back to 185 for our manholes. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna again speed up the video while I finish these ones off. All right, so I have the storm sizes done. And as we see here, I did 900 plus diameter because anything over 900 in terms of storm is 0.1%. So I'm gonna hit okay. Now, obviously these are not all the pipe sizes. These are not all the pipe slopes. I haven't done absolutely everything in this table, but uh, it, all the setups the same. So 200 diameter sanitary, 200 diameter storm, they're both different related options and they can give you different, they have different slopes. So come in and set up your pipe rule sets. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a fair amount of work. It didn't take too terribly long, but setting these up now will allow them to be added to your parts list when we go and make one and therefore automatically added to the pipes that you add into Civil 3D. So again, quite a bit of setup in order to, before we can even start drawing pipes. And we haven't talked about labels, we haven't talked about tables, we haven't talked about any structures or any of that related stuff yet, but that will be in one, some of the next videos.